In this video, we are going to learn about how to handle click events using data binding library. So first here I am going to create a separate class for handle click events. I am going to place the class inside main activity. Here I name it as click handler. Now create some context variable here. Now create a constructor for this class. The one parameter is context. Now we can initialize the context variable from the constructor. For handle a symbol button click, I'm going to create another method here. Uh, this method needs one parameter so view class object now display some message using a toast okay so here we have a class for handle click events using data binding library that contains a simple method for handle button clicks. Now we can place a button inside layout. So I'm open activity main.xml. So this is a layout that support data binding. Here the root element is a layout and here we have the data, uh, data tag that contain only one variable. Here we include another layout called the content main. Here is the content main layout. This is the actual layout of the uh, main activity. So this layout also support data binding. Here also the root element is layout. Here we have data attribute that contain only one variable. So for uh, demonstrate button click, I place a new button here. So now inside the data, uh, data tag create a new variable with a variable name uh, click handler now specify the uh, variable type the class available inside main activity class name is click handler okay so now we can specify the on click method for the button here we can use the uh, data binding expression language so use that variable now you have to use here you have to use a special operator now you have to use the special method signature so go to main activity I copy the method name so the content main is a child layout so we have a variable inside content main so you have to use the same variable inside the parent layout. So here the parent layout is activity main. I paste, I use the same variable inside parent layout also. So now we can create handler for the uh, data binding inside main activity. So we, uh, this, is, this handler is for the click events. So the class name is uh, click handler. I name it as handler. Uh, this one will be a private variable. Okay. So now we can initialize that variable. So handler equal to new click handler pass context. Uh, now we can uh, make the data binding. The click handler binding. So here the uh, data binding library uh, handler is the main binding so main binding dot content so here content is the id of the included layout so here content is the id of the included layout so content dot set click handler and pass the handler now we can test our project so i run the project Uh, 
now the button symbol click working fine now I will show you how to handle a button long click <coughs> for that first here I am going to create a method a separate method the method that handle a button long click must have a return type boolean so here I use the return type boolean symbol button uh, long click so symbol button here change the message also long click so from this method we have to return false so this method handle long click events of a button so now go to content main.xml so create a new button Uh, simple long click so here it is not uh, on click it is on long click now copy the mess, uh, method signature okay so now we can test the project now here I make a long click it is also working fine now I will show you how to <coughs> use a click listener with the parameters so for that create another method with parameters a symbol button click with parameters so this method need two parameters second one is an object of conduct class so symbol button click uh, with parameters now we can display the contact name so first name uh, contact dot first name so we can display first name and last name in a new line now last name contact loop last name so here we simply display first name and last name from the contact object so now go back to the content main.xml so here uh, we have to make a method call with the parameters symbol long click uh, symbol click with parameters okay so enter it on click now use the expression language now uh, use the variable so here instead of the special operator you can uh, use the dot operator so now uh, copy the method signature So this method need two parameter first one is the view object and second one is the contact class object okay so now we can test it so I run the project again okay now we can check it so here it working fine so this is how we handle button click events using data binding library i hope you understand the concept for getting more android tutorial updates please subscribe this channel now thank you for watching see you in the next episode